Hello, I'm Cassie and I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Michael Wall, who's been nicknamed the Blood Detective, for his keen ability to zero in on health problems and find natural solutions. Dr. Wald, you also hold several degrees and certifications, right. uh, including board certifications in nutrition. We've been receiving some questions via email that people have sent us on today's topic of skin, hair, nails and teeth. Okay. Now Susan is suffering from a skin condition psoriasis. But she also has noticed she's losing lots of hair, has very dry skin, and her fingernails become very brittle. They're breaking very easily. Okay. What can she do? All right. So uh, a couple of things, Susan. Uh, in terms of psoriasis, uh, first let's just state that that's uh, an autoimmune condition that shows up as these plaques. Usually there's plaque psoriasis, different types of psoriasis, but it's an autoimmune kind of condition, creates inflammation. And there's usually an intestinal connection to that. So that's important to know because when we're dealing with nails, skin, hair, teeth, and also bone, those tissues reflect me metabolic issues. So whenever we see issues at the surface on the skin or we see you know, discolored or, or brittle uh, either nails or teeth, we want to start thinking of just thinking of overall nutritional improvements. So Susan, I think that we need to have you look at your, your basic diet. So we want to make sure that you're first of all focusing on healthy sources of proteins in the diet because with psoriasis, the skin is continually slothing off cells and you can actually become protein deficient from psoriasis. Mm -hmm. And you also need protein to build up the structure of teeth and hair and nails. So protein, 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 vegetable and vegetarian types of proteins are better. Uh, nuts, seeds, uh, grains, but I would eliminate gluten grains because uh, gluten can trigger psoriasis. There's a whole bunch of issues with gluten. And uh, Susan, you can watch our other um, interview on, on gluten and also go to our website at uh, www.intmedny.com for more information on, on gluten and how it affects these tissues. So, but we have with Susan a combination of a couple of interesting yes. things. So we've got psoriasis, which is genetically predisposed, but the environment can worsen it. Whether it's the temperature, sun can either make psoriasis worse or better in some people, uh, stress and diet, that's all lifestyle environmental stuff. But she's also got the, the dry skin, the mm -hmm. fingernails. So as I mentioned, protein in general, and then minerals uh, like zinc, magnesium, something called manganese. So you might want to start with a multivitamin mineral complex and start there. But getting back to your diet, we want to have a diet, Susan, that is less inflammatory because um, the psoriasis may be consuming a lot of nutrition and it's showing up as deficiencies in these other areas of the body, namely the hair and, and the skin and the fingernails. And, um, you know, we can put things on the nails and put moisturizer on the skin, but it's not at all getting to the metabolic issues there. So um, treating it from the inside. Yeah, you got to go from the inside out and also focusing the diet on omega-3 fatty acids. Most of the diets of America are too high in the omega-6 fats which we get from grains so we don't want to overdo grains I mentioned the grains from a protein perspective and minerals but we want to have more omega-3s relative to our omega-6 grains so the main sources of the omega-3s would be like fish oil for example and uh, flax oil um, or blue green algae is another you know vegetarian type of omega-3 these omega-3 Susan are anti-inflammatory they'll help repair the skin and inflammation can cause the brittleness in these other tissues as well so very very, very important to consume enough and then you know it's going to take three to four months usually for improvements in diet to really show up here they can happen sooner but you're not going to get maximum effects until much later and um, you know again as a blood detective someone who really looks at individual needs it's important Susan to have someone trained like myself to look at your your laboratory work because uh, you know Susan a person with these exact same symptoms depending on uh, you know their, their chemistry might mean might need entirely different you know nutrition and diet changes. Um, also with psoriasis, which again could be causing some of these other issues that Susan's complaining of, you might have um, allergies, Susan, to other different types of foods. And those allergies could be anything. Any food that you consume often has the potential to become an allergen. Not just the dairy and the gluten, but things that you wouldn't normally even think about. Like, you know, broccoli. If you eat a ton of broccoli, your immune system might find it unfriendly. It triggers inflammatory digestive metabolic stressors and it shows up by creating symptoms in these other areas. Um, I think, uh, 
you know, sometimes, Susan, uh, there are other problems that, uh, that go along with psoriasis that could create these issues in other tissues, like uh, sluggish thyroid. Hypothyroid is very commonly you know, uh, along with psoriasis. So your nutrition would change based on, you know, whether or not that's part of it too. But it's a fix what you find approach. We have these symptoms. We could deal with, um, you know, sometimes digestive enzymes, stomach acids. Um, when you improve your uh, digestion and assimilation of nutrition, the, the skin, hair, nails, teeth, also bones, they just repair a lot faster. So sometimes this might just represent a digestive issue. And I think that might be true, Susan, because with psoriasis, there's commonly hypochlorhydra, low stomach acid. And just by taking a digestive uh, hydrochloric acid, it's called betaine hydrochloride, that improves absorption. It could uh, help the, the skin repair, the immune system get more regulated. And then you see changes in all these other tissues. You know, Cassie, frequently... A person will come with a, with a very serious health problem, and they also noted that they had problems in you know skin, hair, nails, and teeth. Sure. And then we fix their general nutrition, and they say, and then all those issues go away. So just as a consequence of just general nutrition improvements, I would start with the basics here. And like so many of our videos say, and on our website, our different articles say, you want to uh, clean up your diet eat organically when you can. You want to eliminate the most common types of um, food allergens to people like like dairy, uh, citrus gluten. Those are just a few examples that can trigger psoriasis. So you're absorbing better. So skin, hair, nails, and teeth can improve. And last thing I'll mention now, Susan, too, again, I don't know your age, but hormonal issues, too, can uh, promote inflammation and also uh, can affect the, the healing of different tissues, too, along with nutrition. So uh, there's a lot to be said about this topic, but we'll close by saying that Issues with the, the tissues that you can see usually reflect more deeper nutritional problems, and those need to be investigated and managed. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you.